In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Pokemon 151 reprint. Alright, so as you can see here, we're just starting off on Poke Beach, one of the biggest news article websites when it comes to Pokemon. And as you can see here, the title says, Blooming Waters Premium Collection releasing for 151 in February. Set also getting reprinted in Japan. So yes, and if you haven't seen lately, there's been all kinds of hype around this. People talking about, is it actually getting reprint? Is it just a restock, a reprint? People saying what they're doing. You're going to see people dumping product. All sorts of opinions have been flying around. This has been a very hot topic on YouTube lately. And I'm just here to uh, kind of give my opinion on this and let people know what I'm going to do in this situation. In no way, shape, or form is this going to be a video of me telling people how to spend their money. So we're just going to go ahead and read through this article here a little bit for anyone that hasn't seen this yet. I haven't personally read this article yet. This is the first time for me. So as you can see, it says... Surprisingly, 151 products aren't over yet. We can reveal a new 151 Blooming Waters Premium Collection. We'll release in the US, Europe, and other countries in February. It will contain 12 booster packs of 151, 4 promo cards, a jumbo card, and a code card. Our 151 set originally released in September 2023, so this product will be releasing a year and a half later. It's so yeah, the ba basically the rest of the article just talks about how, you know, is this going to be the last chance to grab 151 and then it's... A talks about how if it's unclear what blooming waters actually means if it what pokemon it's going to be featured on the box and then it also talks about how there's no new promos in 151 that we know of for the japanese product so we should see a full set reveal at some point this december and then the last line down here talks about how in related news japanese distributors listings have revealed pokemon 151 is getting released in japan new booster boxes will be available Pokemon centers and retailers in December's now am I personally surprised to see something like this and my honest opinion is no and you might say well what did you think this was gonna happen I mean no I didn't think it was gonna happen but if you think about it now you know with what's coming up it makes sense for the Pokemon company to do a reprint then Christmas and everything coming up people are gonna be spending all kinds of money getting people gifts this is a big opportunity for them to cash in on some money. They know how hyped up 151 is. Don't think people at the Pokemon Company don't follow along in the media about the sets and stuff like that. They know what's hype and what's not hype. So I think this is a pretty strategically planned reprint. And just to kind of give you guys an idea, I know I talked about what I'm doing. I, this is what I think is going to happen. They're going to release this product. I don't know. I haven't done too much research because I don't really care exactly what all we're going to get reprinted you know is it just going to be this collection box is it going to be etbs who knows you're going to see product dip a little bit i think you're not going to see product tank down to you know the lowest lows that you've ever seen on 151 it's just not going to happen you might be able to snag up some japanese booster boxes for cheaper than you know 100 bucks maybe get them in the 70s i, I don't know i'm just kind of speculating but I do think you're going to see a little bit of a dip on the product just because of the reprint, obviously. Now, my thing is, is I think it's so hyped up. This 151 is so hyped up. You see everyone talking about just the news the other day with the Charizard selling for multiple, multiple hundreds of dollars. I think you're going to see this dip go right back up because people are going to buy a lot of this product very quickly. As soon as it releases, I guarantee you people are just going to be taking up whatever they can get buying multiple hundreds of dollars worth of product and you know this is all speculation i could totally be wrong but people are saying evolving skies 2.0 like yeah in a way when evolving skies reprinted you know it dipped and then it was right back up you know there wasn't much of a dip when evolving skies got reprinted people bought it all back up and that's exactly what i think is going to happen with 151 so you know people were getting mad talking about this kind of stuff but you know it's it's what's happened in the past history repeats itself so you know you could go on here and listen to people saying oh don't miss your opportunity blah 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 like there's going to be other sets and that's what i've been trying to say there's going to be other scarlet and violet sets that you can buy other than 151 team rocket set they just confirmed it the other day no dark pokemon unfortunately but we are going to have rockets pokemon uh we have trainer pokemon coming out there's all sorts of cool stuff coming out don't feel like you have to cash in all your money on just one set. You know, I mean, you could do what you want with your money, but all I'm saying is don't feel disappointed if you don't 
get enough product or you miss out on the 151 reprint there's other things you're going to be able to buy that are that are pretty cool um you know 151 if you've opened it yeah it's it's a cool set i really like it like i've said before it's i don't know if it's my favorite scarlet and violet set but it's definitely up there for me and i know i said i really like twilight masquerade and that didn't get too much love in my last video but now that I'm done ranting on about what I'm doing with this, you know, I might, just to quickly sum it up, I might get some Japanese boxes if I can get them, you know, I don't know if 60 as $65 is a stretch or not, but, you know, $65, $70, bucks, I'll, probably, I'll probably buy some boxes of 151 for Japanese English. If I can find some ETBs, maybe I'll get a couple, but, you know, I'm not really looking to stash too much more 151 i already have some of those poster boxes set away so this person said at some point i'm gonna draw the line and say master collection as of the date before anything else releases so basically they're super mad because they're saying more cards are coming out and they're gonna have to update their master set honestly i could definitely see the frustration with that because trying to complete a binder is so frustrating if you actually open up all the packs and do it legit so the amount of time and money it takes is just ridiculous. This person said, I hope that this replenishment reduces the extreme spe speculation that is taking place in Italy. And not only. What does re-release mean? Is JP restocking their shelves? Or is this another reprint? I hope this gets reprinted harder than the Zard UPC. The scalping for this product is sickening. Yeah, I mean, the scalping for this is insane. So I know like when it first came out a year and a half ago, I saw a couple of ETBs. And ever since then, you know... They are stocking ETBs because I have seen a couple from pictures of texts that people have sent to me saying, hey, I sold these last night, but I didn't buy them. Uh, shout out TJ if he's watching this. But they do restock the 151 ETBs, but they're gone instantly. People buy them up and buy probably a whole case worth right off the shelf out of Walmart or wherever else. And they're gone reselling them doing whatever they're doing with them someone said good 151 prices are ridiculous right now we need more reprints yeah like honestly i'm not someone who has a bunch of products stashed away so if they reprint it i mean i don't really care like yeah i'll buy some more and if i want to save some of it like i do i'll just set it away i'm not like a huge well everything i buy has to stay sealed no i like to open packs and enjoy the hobby so i mean i do a little bit of both <laughs> this person says i need it i need it i need it yeah, I mean, th and that's what I'm talking about with this hype. Everyone wants more 151. They want to get their hands on it, whether it's to open it, seal it away to make money, whatever they want to do. This is a highly sought after set. So that's why I'm saying this set, the dip is going to be there briefly, and then it's going to be right back up to what it was. You know, product's still going to be expensive. And, and something that was crazy to me to think about how high of a scale this goes into. I was watching one of Pokey Any's videos last night, and he was saying he knows of like three, I can't remember if he said distributors or Japanese collectors that have like a million dollars plus each of 151 sealed away. He said just boxes and boxes high. That is crazy to me. That is cr like, how do you liquidate that much product? That's what I want to know. When you get to that high of a scale, it's almost like Rudy from Alpha Investments. Like you have to have that backing behind you for people to just come buy product from you almost i don't know like i can't see someone liquidating a million dollars worth of pokemon product on ebay how long that would take and all the shipping plus you're losing 13 percent someone that act if anyone knows let me know how people liquidate large quantities of product i'm actually genuinely curious like do they just take them to shows do they take it to a card shop like, what is the best way? Say, like, you have even, like, $20,000 worth of booster boxes. Where do you take that to liquidate that without having to pay fees? Is there a way you can buy it through a website? Someone please let me know down in the comments. This is always something I've been curious about. You know, just because I come on here and make videos doesn't mean I'm an expert by any means. I just like doing this for fun, so. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on here and, and rant about 151 real quick. Uh, anything you guys want to say about my opinions or anything like that you know i'm free to free to hear your side of the story down in the comments and let me know if you're going to be buying this 151 reprint that's going to be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you could please like comment subscribe anything helps and i'll see you in the next one